Hello guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will make a side-by-side -side comparison between Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module and JBL Bar 9.1. Through extensive research and testing, I put side-by-side -side the main features of both soundbars. If you want more information about the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in video description. If you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and click that bell icon to be notified when I produce more videos. Stick to the end of the video for the final verdict. Now let's get started with the video. Both soundbars are top products and come with important and current specifications which makes the choice a difficult one. Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module is a 5.1.2 channel smart soundbar setup. Using the Adapt IQ audio calibration feature, you can optimize audio reproduction based on your room. With this feature turned on, it has a very neutral sound profile suitable for listening to many different types of audio content. It supports Dolby Atmos content, but there's still no DTS support. JBL Bar 9.1 is a 5.1.4 channel soundbar that supports Dolby Atmos and DTSX. There's a wireless active subwoofer and a pair of wireless rear speakers that attach to the main soundbar for recharging. Looking at the design of these two soundbars, the Bose Smart Soundbar 900 has a premium design, on top you will find a premium glass and on the front there is a metal grille. The JBL Bar 9.1 has a metal top and front, and the speakers are protected by a fine metal grille. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 is 6.3 inches wider than JBL Bar 9.1, while the Bose 900 features a 41.1 inches width, 2.2 inches height, and a 4.3 inches depth. The JBL 9.1 features a 34.8 inches width, 2.3 inches height, and a 4.7 inches depth. Therefore you need a bigger place to install the Bose soundbar. Looking at the subwoofers, the Bose Bass Module 700 is a wireless subwoofer that is made mostly from plastic, but on top you will find a glass panel. The Bass Module comes in two colors, black and white. It has a width of 11.6 inches, a height of 12.7 inches, and a depth of 11.6 inches. The JBL subwoofer is made from plastic and comes in black version. It has a width of 12 inches, a height of 17.3 inches, and a depth of 12 inches. Looking at the satellites, the Bose surround speakers 700 connect to the soundbar wirelessly, but they need to be plugged into a power outlet in order to work. Each satellite has a 1.9 inches width, a 5.6 inches height and a 1.9 inches depth. The JBL satellites are completely wireless and are charged by the soundbar when are attached to it. The satellites have a 6.8 inches width, a 2.2 inches height and a 4.7 inches depth. Looking in the box you will find For Bose Bose Smart Soundbar 900 with speakers and bass module, start your guide, adaptive headset, remote, 2 AAA batteries, 4 power cable, HDMI cable, optical cable, 2 power brick for satellites, screwdriver for satellites For JBL Remote with 2 AAA batteries, HDMI cable, power cable for subwoofer, 2 L-shaped wall mount brackets, for the main bar, 2 U-shaped wall mount brackets, for the satellites, mounting screws, mounting template, manuals. Below you will see the most important features side by side. The Bose Smart Soundbar 900 equipped with speakers and a bass module is better than the JBL Bar 9.1. Both soundbars are premium setups, but the Bose is better built with a better soundstage. It can also get a bit louder with less compression at max volume. However, the JBL has DTS support and a full HDMI in port for high-quality pass-through. That being said, the final purchase decision is yours. No matter which soundbar you choose, you will definitely be happy with it.